Hello and a very warm welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I want to talk about an article I read on Savile's website. Savile's being a top real estate agent worldwide. And they gave the 10 most expensive cities in the world to buy real estate. And we're talking about the city center real estate market. And I wanted to go through them with you and tell you whether I think they're investable or not. So coming in at number 10 is Seoul in South Korea. And the price here is 15,600 euros per square meter. Would I invest? No, simply because the population um, is likely to go down in the future because of a very low birth rate of 0.64. Also, the gross rental yields in Seoul are very low at around 2%. We also want to add that the tensions between South Korea and North Korea are still ongoing. And also, another problem is that going forward, um, it's going to be more difficult for South Korea to export its products simply because competition is becoming more and more stiff from India and China. Now coming in at number nine and in Europe is the beautiful city of Paris. And would I invest in Paris? No. The prices here are 15,600 euros per square meter in the city center. But the reason I wouldn't invest, or the reasons I should say, is because the yields are very low in Paris at around three and a half percent. And the other problem is, Capital gains tax is very, very high, and particularly if you sell property within the first few years. And it's a lot more if you're a non-EU citizen. But also it's very, very expensive to maintain a property in Paris as well. So you've got high maintenance cost. And what I also have to say, I'm not a fan of Paris's mayor, Anne Hidalgo, who has made the city a lot more pro-tenant. Coming in now at number eight, is the beautiful city of Sydney at 15,900 euros per square meter. Would I invest here? No, as much as I like Sydney, unfortunately the rental yields are very, very low in Sydney as well at around two to 3%. And couple that with a very high rental income tax, you're also likely to get near to 0% net yields. So um, that's, two fundamental reasons why I wouldn't invest. However, I also want to add one more, and that is the population of Sydney, population density of Sydney is not particularly high, and it's actually much lower than Paris, um, to be fair, but the prices are actually higher than Paris. So this is another fundamental reason why I think potentially in the future, prices in Sydney will actually go down. Coming in at number seven, um, at 17,000 euros per square meter and back in Europe is the city of London. Now, would I invest here? I think London will be a better place to invest in, um, because um, A, although it has suffered a lot from the pandemic and Brexit, and I have to add the gross yields are not very high at three and a half percent. London actually is has one major advantage. It's very difficult to build in London because of 47% of land in London is green space where you'll never be able to build. And also um, London has what is called um, the right of light, which means it's very difficult to build high up as, as well. So that I think will keep property prices in London high. And I think property prices will increase in the future. Also, um, the population growth of London is quite steady and will be higher in the future. So I think for those reasons, London could still be a good place to invest. Coming in at number six is Shanghai at 17,400 euros per square uh, meter. Would I invest here? Absolutely not, because unfortunately um, you cannot be a landlord in China. So you won't be able to get any yields at all. And even if you could, the actual rental yields in Shanghai are quite low. They're below 2%. two percent. Um, and even if you want capital appreciation, unfortunately, the Chinese government has recognized prices are very high. So I think they're going to introduce a lot of packages, a lot of uh, laws um, to keep property prices low um, or in actual fact, um, for them not to go up too much in the future. So I think Shanghai is a definite no for the property investor. Now, coming back to Europe and number five, Geneva at 19,100 euros per square meter is another place where I don't think uh, is you would want to put your money. 
A, because it's pro-tenant. B, the yields are low. Uh, C, it's very difficult actually to get a property in um, uh, Switzerland anyway because the numbers are limited. And six, the government is keen for prices not to increase further. Coming in at number four is Tokyo. And here I'm actually a little bit more neutral. Um, now I know, yes, Japan has a very aging population. Um, also, the total government debt to GDP is the highest in the world at around 250%. And taxes are quite high in Japan as well. Actually, they're, they're very high. I still think the city center of Tokyo could offer something, particularly to the risk averse investor. And also remember, Japan is a very efficient country, a leader in robotics. And I do like um, Japan because the population is just so, so hard working. So number three is New York at 22,200 um, euros per square meter. Now, would I invest here? I think I'm also quite neutral here. And now what's good about New York is that it is the financial capital of the world. There is also like London, very limited space to build. And also the salaries are very, very high in New York to compensate for the high prices. The only thing I really don't like about New York, obviously apart from I know the rental yields are not fantastic, but it's, um, you, it's very difficult to buy in a co-op if you're a foreigner. It's very, very restricted here and you're unlikely to get um, to be able to do so. So you're more likely to end up buying in a condo um, where the prices are much, much higher. Please do check out my video in New York on New York for a further explanation of this. Coming in at number two is Hong Kong. And there's a big jump here to 39,600 euros per square meter. Now, I would never invest in Hong Kong, not least because um, the yields are very low, the ongoing geopolitical tensions with China. Also, as a, as a foreign buyer, you will have to pay 30% buyer stamp duty. And that is really, really a deal breaker. I also want to add, I think um, Hong Kong is going to suffer a brain drain. Many of um, people from Hong Kong will come to U the UK, not least because of the ve very generous visa program that the UK has introduced for Hong Kong citizens. So I think um, that could lead to a brain drain. So for me, Hong Kong is definitely not a place to put your money in the real estate market. And coming in at number one, at 47,600 euros per square meter in the city center. And I'm sure you're not gonna be surprised to see this. It's Monaco. And Monaco is only for the very, very, very rich, obviously, who don't want to pay um, income tax. Now, for the rest of us, it's not a place where you invest, obviously, because um, it's very expensive and the yields are terrible at below 1%. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do check out my other videos on property and I'll see you very soon. Thank you for today and bye.